everybody. So what I'm going to talk to you guys about today is some of my favorite creative exercises. When do you need a creative exercise? Okay, so let's say inspiration has struck, you're excited about a new collection, and then you sit down at your desk, pencil in hand, paper on the table, and your idea is not becoming clothes. Okay, you might need a creative exercise. Let's get into it. Number one, and that is create a character narrative. So typically when you put a collection together, you have to identify a target demographic. You know, where does she live? What is her age group? Um, he or she, whoever you're designing for, you need to be able to identify who your customer is. So in this exercise, I think it's kind of productive to take it a step further. Really stretch your imagination and come up with imagining the world that they live in. What kind of car do they drive? What kinds of books do they read? Um, where do they go on vacation? What are their hobbies? Uh, take the time to kind of explore those hypothetical details. Maybe even do a, f a couple sketches of, of their whole little universe just to kind of get everything going. Um, it can be really fun. It can be relaxing. And I think it can actually help you in the future to be a little bit more empathetic when you have an actual client that you're designing for. So number two, and that's redesign or reimagine wardrobe for a book or a movie. So this can be super fun and this can really help if you get stuck trying to design the rest of your collection. Um, pick a movie, pick a book, something like that, and take a couple of your favorite characters and design a head to toe look for each one of them. I think it helps you think outside of the box a little bit um, and it can be just a super fun break. So number three, 100 sketches. Sounds a little daunting. And I have to say that this was an exercise that I whined about when I was in school. And I actually had a professor who made us do this for our capstone collection before we narrowed down our final books. So as much as I may have pouted about it when it was homework, this is something that really helps stimulate ideas. And this is probably one of my favorite exercises to do. I would probably put this at number one. You can also do this nearly anywhere. I travel pretty frequently and I've done this on flights from JFK to LAX, vice versa. All you need is pencil and paper and don't stop until you get a hundred designs sketched out. They don't have to be perfect. They don't even really have to be good. The idea is that you're just trying to get as many ideas out onto paper as you possibly can. Then you can just go back through later and you can edit them out and get them back down to a collection. So it's a really fantastic way to visually brainstorm. So what I wanna know from you guys, do you have any creative exercises that you love? Um, be sure to comment down below. I would really love to hear from you guys. All right, guys, you know the drill. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you wanna hear more from me, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Right next to the subscribe button is a little bell. Go ahead and give that a click too if you want to be notified every time I post a new video. Till next time.